Hello everyone, my name is Rajan Govind. Uh, I'll be taking through the session uh, in two parts, basically starting from uh, glass application and designs and then little more detail on uh, engineering and design aspect of this. First of all, glass facade as we can define in many different ways. Understanding the glass facade uh, require uh, multidiscipline skills, little of architectural uh, engineering uh, skills to understand the designs. And glass facade is, has been applied in many different forms in buildings such as uh, as small as like a glass windows or maybe a large application in commercial buildings. So this session we will be taking through uh, many different forms of construction, the design aspects and the design uh, widely varies where it is being applied. Understanding the glass facade, architects uh, perspective, uh, the glass facade, uh, glass is one of the fascinating material uh, they like to use in many different forms in the building. It, it may be from uh, as small as like a window application or maybe a very large uh, like a glass building application and it's increasingly becoming common to use the, the material because of the uh, lightweight and highly transparent and technically advanced building materials. However, use of glass needs some uh, basic engineering and design uh, knowledge from architectural perspective to the structural engineering perspective. A glass facade is, is used, there is no limitation you can use in hot climate or cold climate or various different climates because of the availability in, in many different forms. So we will be taking through the basic understanding of the glass as well as some uh, design aspect of it. Uh, we will be showing this uh, application of the glass in various different forms in buildings. For example, uh, you can see uh, we are going to show about a uh, window application. As we know window is part of the essential part of the building, you may, it may be a residential, commercial. Uh, windows primarily bring the daylights to the interior space. So without that you will be surrounded by enclosed space without any connection to the uh, external environment. So the modern windows use many different uh, glass types like insulated glass, high performance glass, safety glass, the, there's many different forms used in, in window application. As you can see in the picture window could be in many different forms, it could be square, a rectangle, a circular window or like a ribbon window continuously on, on building and many different ways it is, it is primarily defined by the architectural of, uh, intent of the building. But the basic design intent is the same when we have a windows, uh, you need to have some framing around the uh, glass, uh, glass panels and it need to be integrated well with the, with the building envelope so that it does perform its structural and uh, weather requirements. Uh, windows, we are defining windows primarily in how it is getting applied. Uh, as you can see, we, we call this a strip window. Strip window is showing it windows is applied uh, used in large continuous uh, like a ribbon type of windows uh, rather than a square or a rectangular shape to punch to windows. In this application, the construction design is slightly different from the previous forms of typical windows. So this is uh, have a continuous frame uh, top and bottom to support the glass and it has some vertical in between members to support the glass. So this uh, design is slightly varied from the previous window concept. And this is slide is showing the architectural uh, terminology they use to punch the windows. As you can see the windows are punched from external envelope of the building. For many different reasons it gives some good architectural intent. At the same time it is protected from the uh, external direct exposure to rain and sunlight so it has some shaded. So what you can see here it is called punched window is punched uh, from the building envelope to little inside and this is showing in a strip window which is in continuous format uh, where uh, the glazing is taken throughout the building in uh, uh, ribbon format. And there are also the various features we need to be looking in the windows, primarily is giving two function. It brings a daylight and it has to perform for ventilation. For ventilation, the windows need to be able to open so you can get a fresh air. So ventilation is a secondary primary uh, requirement for functional aspect. 
So we have to make sure the window able to open to bring the fresh air. When it strikes to open, then design function, you have to make sure it is engineered and designed to perform the functions. So we call in operable, it could be open from the top or it could be side open. So the two different primarily window opening is either it could be uh, hanging from the top, you could open from the top. Is commonly used in residential uh, buildings, it can open from the sideways. And this slide is showing various different form of windows application in being a residential building or a commercial building. Uh, in there are, it, it is primarily defined by architecture and as well as uh, functional requirement. When you have a fixed window, this is glass is fixed surrounded by the structural member which is mainly aluminum frames to hold the glass and is being fixed with uh, concrete openings. And operable windows as I mentioned it mainly in two different forms to open the windows. If you have a large window where the glass is open from the top it is called top hung window which is hanging from the top you can see it is open from the top and also there is uh, most commonly used the windows we could see in ma majority of the building the residential building especially this type of windows is being used these windows it give a good ventilation and it will give unobstructed view so there are many ways are as a residential this is one of the most preferable form of uh, opening windows we uh, will try to go a little further the glasses application is one is windows and the other one is could be external partition wall partitions meaning external wall or glazed external wall or could be doors uh, there are many different application of the glazing in the form of windows doors or external wall uh, on many different ways when we say ex uh, door application is primarily to give access to the internal space it being a uh, maybe a, a commercial shop or maybe a, a residential window which is accessing to the open areas like a living room to balcony application where we call is a glass door and the, when we have a door construction is basically a glass door which is has three different forms we can see it has to be able to open in vertical hinges or it could be a slide open when we have a slide open you could see the uh, door uh, is fixed on the slide side when it have a sliding it is rolling on the track when it is rotating door you can see some pictures is mainly used on uh, hotel entrances you maybe see a revolving door or rotating doors so the door is in many different ways it depends on the applications what you can see in this picture this is a uh, side hinged door is the main entrance of this building you can see here uh, the door is fixed on the side so it's a hinged door which is giving entrance to the building and it has a uh, framed with a glass so this is one way of doing a uh, main entrance doors which is hinged on this side and it, it gives a large openings and is essentially used in entrance to a commercial building or maybe a hotel entrances uh, there is another form of door is called sliding door which is quite popularly know, uh, used in uh, large residential where uh, from access from living room to balcony or maybe living room to external spaces uh, being a garden they is being used here you could see here the door big uh, piece of glass this much glass panel is sliding on this uh, frame it will have a track on top and bottom and this uh, framed glazed panel is sliding on this so this is one way of uh, applying into a sliding door which has a much uh, larger functional requirement like ventilation, access to external and protection from environment and is used to close the space if it is an air conditioned space. Uh, this is different form of door application which is mainly used in large commercial buildings, entrances uh, or in the hotel buildings is a revolving door or rotating door. The door has a central uh, spindle here and all these leaves has a framed support here. It could be aluminum framed support or um, sometime it may be a stainless steel framed. And this is uh, rotating with, uh, with the motor driven here at this detail. And it has automatic sensor. So then it sends the people are moving and it will rotate. 
So this is quite commonly used in hotel buildings or where there's a large traffic. Uh, the main purpose of this door, this kind of a doors uh, are, uh, it gives a good protection from external to internal spaces. Uh, if it is too hot outside, when the doors open, your internal air condition uh, chilled uh, air got lost. So that will prevent this. So it is, it is mainly for uh, good uh, thermal performance to give the internal spaces. So going beyond the windows door application, this we are going to see the, the glass facade application. The glass is being widely used on main envelope of the building or main facades of the building. Uh, in olden days, we used to have uh, bricks and walls with the small glass uh, panels that's called windows. Here we are looking on glass is used primarily on the building envelope or, or glass building. You may be seeing quite commonly on a high rise as tall building, uh, which is commonly used for many re uh, different reasons like such as architectural uh, design intent. Uh, it's a flexible material we can use as it gives a lightweight construction it, so that the overall weight of the building is reduced and it gives a light, uh, good uh, internal comfort. There are many functional aspects that brings to the glazing application. Uh, so we are going to see it's called uh, glazing is used either with a framed or frameless. You can see in this picture there are vertical elements uh, mainly predominantly using aluminum frames which is supporting the glass or uh, sometimes it could be also used without frames which is called frameless glass like a glass boxes or glass entrances mainly used on the large volume spaces where you want to have a highly transparent glazing. Uh, where it's used minimum frames or sometimes no frames. So we define either framed and frameless system. The engineering de design is very different from framed system to frameless system and we will be uh, taking little further on detail. Uh, framed system, if you are primarily talking about framed system, uh, it can be categorized as unitized curtain wall system or prefabricated panelized system or stick curtain wall system. Uh, as industry norm, we curtain wall glazing, which is meaning uh, the glass is going continuously on the building envelope for seamlessly from top to bottom of the building is called uh, curtain wall glazing. Uh, in terms of construction, it can be defined as unitized curtain wall glazing system or it can be uh, defined as a stick curtain wall system. And another form of construction is frameless glazing system. Frameless glazing system is primarily used on uh, building entrances, uh, triple height spaces, large volume spaces uh, or, or maybe a shop front uh, spaces where the frameless glazing system is widely used. Uh, here we are explaining uh, one uh, form of construction of a framed glazing system. So this slide is talking about framed glazing system uh, which is one way of construction is unitized curtain wall system or it is prefabricated panelized system. What you could see here in this picture, these panels prefabricated in the factory and delivered to the site and is getting fixed to the building some uh, bracketing arrangement. So that is same thing is explained here. It is called a panelized system or prefabricated glazing system. It need to have a external framing to support the glass and there are arrangements to fix the panels to the building with uh, fixing and anchorages which we will explain to you shortly. Uh, that is another way of construction of this kind of a glazing system. It is called a strip glazing a curtain wall system. In here you can see here it is a panel uh, not necessarily continuously going vertically on the building. Uh, it may be a panel covering only the floor height or it could have a beam in between these panels. So this is another way of called uh, ribbon glazing or strip curtain wall glazing. Uh, mainly we are calling this terminology because it is going in a strips. It is not vertically continuing and it is only continuously horizontally continuous in the building. There is another form of glazing system we were, this slide is talking about frameless glazing system or uh, in a way it is sometimes called a spider glazing or point fixed glazing. 
uh, there are many terminology used but to define the frameless glazing system. In this glazing there is no uh, vertical or horizontal frames or it may be a very minimum amount of frames. You could have highly transparent glazing uh, using either glass fins or points supported using some stainless steel hardware. In advantages of this glazing is it covers a large volume like uh, entrances of the building where you need unobstructed view to external to internal and is able to integrate the doors entrances much easier and uh, it brings a lot of daylight to the internal spaces there is no uh, minimum interruptions and uh, it can also be used with a different form of glazing like high performance safety glazing and uh, it, it gives more robust structural solution for uh, large volume application like uh, if the vertical span is higher like the two floor or three floor height uh, this type of glazing is commonly used. And this picture is showing some different forms of frameless glazing system as you can see here it could be supported with the glass fins with this uh, stainless steel uh, fixing is called spider fixing or point fixing. So, glass is primarily supported on points rather than the continuous framing. Uh, this individual glass panel is supported on four points. So, it is called uh, point supported system. It could be used on this or uh, it could also be used on uh, like a screens for architectural application or maybe a roofing application. It is called a roof skylight. The glass is suspended uh, with a tension cable system here. There is no steel or aluminum framing here. Uh, rather it supported with the tension rod system. 